Every day, from the moment we wake up, we are making decisions. What to wear, what to eat, which email to reply first. Some decisions are unimportant. Others, like whether to invest in a startup, launch a product, or choose between job offers, carry real consequences. But beneath all these choices lies a deeper system, a framework of logic, psychology, and probability called decision theory. While it might sound like an abstract concept reserved for economists and mathematicians, decision theory is increasingly central to how businesses market products, how governments craft policies, and whether you realize it or not, navigate a world of options. At its heart, decision theory is about making the best possible choice given the information at hand and knowing what best even means. What is decision theory? At its simplest, decision theory is the study of how people make choices. It's a blend of philosophy, economics, psychology, and statistics. The theory distinguishes between normative decision-making, how people should make decisions if they were perfectly rational, and descriptive decision-making, how people make decisions, including emotions and biases. Imagine you're offered two job options. One pays more but involves longer hours and relocation. The other offers flexibility and creative freedom, but a lower salary. Decision theory helps you structure your options. Weigh trade-offs, assign values to outcomes, estimate risks, and ideally, make a choice aligned with your priorities. Businesses, of course, do this constantly, just with more spreadsheets and fewer feelings. Decision trees, uncertainty, and risk. One of the most iconic tools of decision theory is the decision tree, a diagram that maps out different options, possible outcomes, and their associated probabilities. It's popular in fields ranging from tech to healthcare. Let's say a pharmaceutical company is deciding whether to invest millions into a new drug. They might use a decision tree to compare the expected return of launching the drug versus the cost of failure. They assign probabilities to each scenario, multiply these by expected outcomes, like revenue, penalties, etc., and get an expected value to guide their choice. But here's the drawback. Most of our decisions don't come with neat probabilities. As economist Frank Knight pointed out in the 1920s, there's a difference between risk and uncertainty. Decision theory attempts to navigate both, but in the real world, uncertainty is often king. Think of launching a new social media app. You can estimate server costs and ad budgets, but how do you assign a probability to go viral or be ignored? If you are a business owner or run a website, in that case, you need a professional tool that can help you do market research, develop marketing strategies, and run marketing campaigns to promote your product. I'm excited to introduce the sponsor of this video, SEMrush. This powerful tool can help you doing both the work seamlessly. With SEMrush's keyword magic tool, you can explore over 26 billion keywords in a flash. Discover new ranking opportunities and gain insights into market trends with ease, all while saving time and getting faster results. Here are just a few ways SEMrush can elevate your online presence. Achieve higher rankings and boost your organic traffic with intuitive SEO tools. Create compelling content that not only resonates with your audience, but also ranks highly in search engines. Uncover your competitors' marketing strategies and tactics. Learn how to reach more potential customers while spending less on your campaigns. Build an effective social media strategy that drives engagement. Optimize your agency's processes for sustainable growth and efficiency. So why wait? Visit trizemrush.com slash educationleaves. The first link in my description to start your 14-day free trial with SEMrush today. Experience the difference for yourself and take your digital marketing to the next level. Behavioral twists, how we actually decide. As elegant as rational models are, humans don't behave like robots. We're emotional, biased, and often downright irrational. That's where behavioral decision theory comes in, pioneered by psychologists like Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. Take the loss aversion principle. Kahneman's research showed that people feel the pain of losing $100 more intensely than the pleasure of gaining $100. This has massive implications in marketing. Why do warranties work? Why are limited time offers so effective? Because we fear loss of security, opportunity, time, more than we value gain. In fact, irrational decisions cost businesses dearly. 
According to a study by PwC, poor decision-making costs the average Fortune 500 company over $250 million per year because of inefficiencies and missed opportunities. This blend of logic and psychology is why decision theory is so vital in today's data-driven yet deeply human world. Marketing through the lens of decision theory. Let's zoom in on marketing, a domain obsessed with influencing choices. When Spotify recommends a playlist or Amazon nudges you with customers also bought, they're not just being helpful. They're applying probabilistic models to increase the likelihood of your next click. But it's not just algorithms. Brands use decision theory to shape choice architecture or how options are presented. Consider the decoy effect. A $7 popcorn seems expensive next to a $4 small. But add a $6.50 medium and suddenly the large looks like a deal. This isn't manipulation. It's strategic framing, rooted in behavioral insights. Similarly, companies use multi-criteria decision analysis to weigh complex factors like cost, customer satisfaction, and brand alignment when deciding whether to expand into new markets. In this way, decision theory becomes a strategic compass, not just a mathematical exercise. Real life, real consequences. Beyond the institutions, decision theory offers tools for your own life, can help clarify whether to pursue a side hustle, buy a home, or go back to the job. Tools like the expected utility model allow you to rank outcomes not just by monetary value, but by personal significance. But here's the truth. You'll rarely have all the data, and that's okay. One of decision theory's most liberating lessons is that perfect information is a myth. The best decisions often come not from having all the answers, but from asking the right questions and knowing your own values. The future of decision theory, AI and ethics. As artificial intelligence takes on more decision-making power, from recommending parole decisions to diagnosing cancer, the ethical dimension of decision theory stands out large. Machines may calculate probabilities flawlessly, but they don't understand context, emotion, or justice. Embedding human values into algorithmic decision-making is one of the most pressing challenges of our time. Decision theory is no longer just academic. It's infrastructural. Final thought. Thinking about thinking. In the end, decision theory is a way of thinking about thinking. It gives structure to the chaos of choice. In a world saturated with information, where FOMO battles indecision and data overload, learning how to make smarter, clearer, more intentional decisions isn't just useful, it's empowering. You don't need to be a statistician to benefit from it. You just need to pause, reflect, and realize that behind every choice, big or small, lies a system you can understand and maybe even master. If you want to read it or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.